How's it going, everybody? This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist, coming to you from the art studio. I just got here, and uh, I'm ready to roll. I'm not doing Starbucks today. I feel a little sad. Just a little. You know? Doing McDonald's coffee. This coffee's coffee. And I promise you it's not because times are rough. <laughs> it's because... Uh, I woke up a little late, so didn't have time to stop at Starbucks and McDonald's was right on the way. So way a little sad. Anyways, moving on from that, gonna get my my Starbucks later today. Anyways, uh, but but coffee's coffee. Mm. Yeah, miss Starbucks. <laughs> All right, guys, I want to talk to you about rejection today. How important is that? What the hell? What's the deal with rejection? Uh, I was reading an art book here. Some one of these art books, or these coity-toity art books, uh, where they explain about rejection. They explain about about what, how to deal with rejection. And I've I've noticed that I've read a couple of articles on on it too, and and rejection towards uh, for artists. And they all pretty much talk about how, how, uh, how to deal with it when it comes out, like a like an event. I don't know if I make myself clear with this, but I'm gonna make a, an attempt. Like if rejection is an event, you know, you're going to you're gonna be doing your thing, your good work, your good, you know, the good. The, you're gonna be fighting the, the good battle, and if rejection comes up or when rejection comes up uh how do you deal with it oh my god first of all rejection is not an event like you're not not you're you're, you're getting your artwork into the marketplace you're selling your artwork you're putting yourself out there whatever it is right trying to get gallery exhibits you're trying to sell on on online platform it doesn't matter whatever it is you're putting your art out into the marketplace. You shouldn't think that rejection is a uh, some sporadic event. Rejection is the only thing that's really going to happen. See, I, I believe that there is a huge underestimation of effort and, and reality in... Uh, when it comes to being an artist in the marketplace, uh, in in just to, just in general, people talking about being an artist. Everywhere I read, well, I've only read in three places, uh, an art book and two articles. But based on what I've read before, <laughs> it also seems to back up this idea that rejection is some sporadic event. It happens every now and then. You get you get rejected. Uh, I don't know, the, the gallery didn't like your work. You experience rejection. How do you deal with rejection? The matter of fact, guys, is that is that rejection is the thing, the only thing that you're most, more than likely will experience throughout your career. Not just in the beginning, throughout your career. You're going to you experience rejection. First of all, the first rejection you experience is your own rejection because we're so self-critical. You experience a lot of rejection by your own self. Like, oh my God, I don't think I'm good enough. My artwork is not great. And on and on and on and on. Uh, or you may think you're good, but you may think that you are a perfectionist. In other words, you are procrastinating, which is another form of rejection. Uh, you won't escape it. Rejection is what you should be looking for. Rejection is where you should be pointed towards. Uh, because that's all you're gonna get. Now, this 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 art book and this article suggests that rejection is an ex a sporadic event, something that happens every now and then. Like, oh my God, what happens when the artist gets rejection? To me, it's like it's really silly. It's really it is really freaking silly. Uh, it's it's like telling a runner what happened when you get what happens when you get tired. Dude, that's all you're gonna feel. You're gonna feel tired. That's all you're gonna do. You're gonna feel like 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 you don't you you know the wall. You can't push further than that. You're gonna feel like why am I doing this again? That's how you're gonna start feeling. 
it's it's normal so anyways rejection is not something that happens to you every now and then it's what will happen constantly and if it's not happening okay here's a here's a sign if you're not experiencing rejection you're not doing enough if you're not experiencing rejection constantly not just every now and then if you experience rejection every now and then rejection is 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 the measuring <clears throat> it's the ruler it's the bar rejection is the bar the more rejection you have means the more you're doing the more opposition you have means the more you're doing the less opposition the less rejection it just means that you're doing less that you're not doing enough you know i i hear some artists say man uh everything was fine and then you know i got this email and i don't know people people didn't like my art or 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 the gallery didn't accept my artwork and like if it's some sort of event guys the gallery nine out of ten galleries are not gonna accept your artwork for different for different reasons different reasons there's gonna be different reasons associated with it we're booked for the next three years that's one of them that's the most common one uh we are you're not for us right because we are i don't know a western uh southwest type of cowboy gallery and and your stuff is is too modern too abstract it's 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 conceptual it goes somewhere else it doesn't go here that's another one and on and on and on um rejection is what you should be experiencing if you're not experiencing it you're not doing enough uh this is the bar that i measure my efforts if i'm not experiencing rejection i'm not i know i'm not doing enough you know one of my one of my mentors says the amount of haters you have in other words right rejection the amount of haters you have will determine the amount of success you'll you will create for yourself I mean, just look at uh, just look at any YouTube video. The YouTube videos that have the most dislikes, uh, consequently, are also the ones that have proportionately the most likes, right? Or disproportionately, or the most likes. Uh, if you get a dislike on your on your video, on one of your YouTube videos, if you get like a like a thumbs down, that means you only have like I don't know. Like a hundred thumbs up or two thumbs up or whatever. Like it's it's very little, right? If you have a hundred thumbs down, that means that you have thousands of thumbs up. So it's 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 the amount of rejection is really the measuring bar. Uh here's another thing, guys. People are trying to deal with it. They're looking for how to deal with rejection. You don't I don't think you deal with it as as a, a, a thing because again it's it's assuming that it's an event what happens when you're fighting the good battle and all of a sudden you start getting rejection as an artist my answer to this is good you're getting results rejection is results you go you knock on a gallery door nope we don't want you here your work is not welcome here i don't like it it's not for us thank you bye bye whatever however they do it right they don't do it like they wouldn't say it like i said it but uh, that's a rejection. That means, that means, that you went and took action. That's every time you get rejection, it's you're taking action. You're moving forward, and you're collecting data too. That's the cool thing about rejection too. Every time you experience rejection, you have data. People hate. Uh, I don't know. People hate some of your stuff. And you 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 pick up you pick up data, you pick up data, and then you you tweak it, and you know. You, as you move forward, you start tweaking it more. It's 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 a uh, it's not something. It's not some event, guys. That you're going to you're going to face, and you're going to be like, oh my god, how do I how do I deal with this emotionally? It's the wrong way to look at it. You you don't deal with it with rejection emotionally. You don't deal with it. It's not an event. It's not. It's not. You don't need some. Uh, I don't know. You don't need to psychoanalyze it. It's nothing. It's just the world. It's the world opposing to a new thing, to a new. It's like the new kid on the block. It's like who's this kid? We don't know him. You know, it's the world opposing to the new, to the unfamiliar. Everybody does it. 
everyone opposes to the unfamiliar. And that's what rejection is. It's, I don't know you. Imagine if, if, if uh, I don't know, a famous artist goes to a gallery and they start talking. They're like, oh, my God, I can't wait to have you here. Even if they're book, they'd be like, I can't wait to have you here, Mr. Coons. Oh, awesome. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Because, because, they, because, because he's well known, right? He's, he's well respected, well known. Everybody knows who Jeff Coons is and on and on and on. The amount of rejection uh, is different because it's not, a, it's not new. He, he still experiences rejection, right? I mean, look at that. I, think, I don't know if it's still going on, the France thing. Uh, he still experiences rejection, but not at the level. It's a different scale of rejection. Not that. I don't think he has a problem with galleries taking his work. That I don't think he has a problem with. His rejections are have gone bigger, right? They're in different. He wants to take works to to different countries and and on and on and on. The rejections have gone massive. They're different types of rejections, uh, but but nevertheless, you're 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 not going to stop facing rejections. So it's not an event. It's something that keeps popping up because it should. It ought to be there. It's a it's a it's a signpost. That you're doing the right thing and you shouldn't try to deal with it. What you need to do as an artist, I believe, is get as many rejections as possible. Like as many no's, as many, let me think about it, as many, I don't like what you're doing, as many, uh, shut up already, as many, uh, I'm not for you, this is not, whatever, right? The price is too high. Uh, the painting is not worth that. And on and on and on and on. You need to get so many of those in order for you to get data and in order for in order for you two things happen. You get data and you move forward. You're moving forward and you're getting data. It's like the it's the best damn thing. I don't know why people would want to deal with rejection. It's not personal either. And while it does hurt uh, it does hurt to have rejection because we're 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 taught. I mean, all of the psychological pain really goes forms around around rejection. Uh, not not being enough, right? It's not good enough. It's not enough. It's not. It's 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 the whole idea of not being enough. Uh, well, it does hurt. It's something that you want to seek. The champions, the successful people, all the people doing anything, they. They seek rejection. It's 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 uh it's the signpost again. It's the thing that you want to go after. It's the thing that you want to go after. Okay, let me see how many people can tell me no. Okay, well at least you find out, right? You find out for every hundred people that tell me no, one says yes. Now you know your number, right? All you have to do is I don't know, find a thousand people to get ten people to tell you yes. You see how this works? Like, re rejection is finding your number. It's finding your number. It's moving forward. You're finding your number. Every every hundred galleries that I call, uh, I don't know, ten say, let me see your work. And one says yes, right? Ninety-nine said no. Ninety of them didn't even want to meet with me. But ten did. And out of those 10, one said yes. Uh, I'm just giving you an example. Now you know your number. You've experienced 99 rejections. And now you know your number. If I experience 99 painful rejections, right? They're, they're not painful, but, but we, we humans take shit. It's everything serious, right? If I experience 99 rejections, 99, no, you're not for us. Your work is too big. Your work is too small. Your work doesn't go with us. Your skill level is not ready yet. And blah, 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 blah. blah. All the rejections in the world, right? Because everybody... I mean, just think about anyone, right? Uh, who who was it? Anyone. They, 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 all of the great stuff. Star Wars. Uh, all of the people that have done anything. First, everybody shits on it. And they want to throw it away. And then they, they get convicted again. They get committed. Not convict, yeah. Conviction. Yeah. Uh, and and they get they get committed, and then they go back into the marketplace with with uh, with strength. 
the first everything everything gets rejected it's 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 the way it's the human way and if if we're looking to not get rejected we're we're doing it ourselves at the at the service like you're not you're not you, you shouldn't even be an artist i'm i'm being honest here you shouldn't be an artist if you're afraid of rejection like if you're so afraid of it that you don't want to face it because it, it's the number one thing you're going to continue to face it's like the it's the only thing actually that you're going to face and every now and then, someone's going to say yes. Every time I put a painting, someone, everybody says, oh, that's nice. Ah. Okay, it, it, that's if I, if I place a painting somewhere. Okay, there's no rejection there. But if I go and I say, would you like to buy it? Or, you know, or move into a sale or move into actually, actually doing something that requires someone else to participate other than putting something nice. Right? Oh, I like the painting. The painting is nice. Well, there's no harm there, right? But now, now give me some money for it and, and, and hang it in your living room. There's going to be rejection there. There's going to be like, oh my God, I got to talk to my husband. Oh my God, I got to talk to my wife. Oh my God, hold on, let me see. I'm not sure if I'm if that's the right budget for me. Uh, you know what? It doesn't go with my the rest of my artwork, my living room, or whatever. It's going to be rejection. The moment that something significant, right, where where people have to take action. Oh my God. It looks so fuzzy. You will experience rejection. And it's part of it. There you go. <laughs> it's part of it. And it's the way. It's the only way, actually, to do any, to get anything done. It's the only way to get anything done. How's it going, uh, Kimberly? So, again, to wrap this up, guys. Rejection. Everybody talks about rejection as if it's an event. As if you are going to, when you do experience it, it's, an, it's a sporadic thing. If you ever do experience rejection, here's how to deal with it. And I mean, I was reading some some, uh, see here, some art books on it. And I read a couple of articles on it. And, and they all seem to talk about the same thing. As if rejection is a sporadic thing. It, it's it's if it's a sporadic thing, you're not working enough. If if you're experiencing rejection every now and then, very you know, I I, I had an artist told me, man, everybody loves my artwork. Like I I don't experience any rejection, and I'm like, I thought to myself, right? I'm like, you may not be doing something. You may not be doing something outside your comfort. If you're not experiencing rejection, you're not doing something out of your comfort zone, out of your comfort level. So, so I asked this artist, oh, well, like, are you selling it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Like, how? Well, I'll, I'll post something on, on Facebook and, you know, everybody says it's really nice and, and, like, I hardly get any rejection. I'm like, dude, you're not selling it. Showing it, it's not selling it. That's not selling it. Saying saying it's for sale, that's not selling work. That's just that's like getting a car, putting it in the middle of the road, and putting a for sale sign. That's not selling. I mean, the car is for sale, but it, it is not selling. Selling is going and talking to someone and saying, "Look, I got this car right here. These are these are the, the these are all the benefits of the car. This is this is the value of the car, right? Uh, here, would you like to buy it?" Like verbally moving into it, physically moving into it. And then you'll experience rejection. It's like, why would I do that? Why, why would I try to sell it when you can just post it on online? I'm like, uh, I don't know, because it's really the only way that things work. Other than that, if you have a, a, a some, some sort of shop, if you have a shop like on eBay, I don't have to physically sell something to someone, right? It gets posted there, but I do have to. I do have to move move in with uh, ads, right? Uh, writing articles, talking to people about it, emailing people, and on and on and on and on. You know, uh, getting people excited to go to eBay and shop. That's some sort of marketing. In 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 the in the eBay alone, I don't experience the rejection necessarily. I do, but I don't necessarily experience it as much. As the marketing, like talking to people so that they can go to eBay, that's where the rejection is. 
because that's where I physically move, right? So when I hear artists saying, man, I don't experience rejection. People are, you know, people are really cool. Every now and then I get someone that's like, no, I don't like your stuff. That, that, that's not people, dude. That's because you're not doing, you're not doing almost, you're not doing anything. You're not experiencing rejection. Rejection. You're not doing anything other than posting little photos on, on Facebook or Instagram. Like you're not, that's not, that's not where you're going to find rejection. Get a couple of paintings, put them under your arms and walk into, into 10 galleries and watch rejection, experience rejection that way. Walk into 10, like make it a point to walk into 10 galleries today in your town and you will experience rejection. Make it a point to pick up the phone and talk to uh, 10 of your past collectors and tell them about your new painting and watch experience rejection. You will, it, the, the, the more you do physically, that you actually physically move into something, uh, with action, and this can be aligned too, physically moving online with actions. For example, uh, emailing, you contact someone, uh, you put Facebook ads, right? That's a form of rejection. You spend so much. How, how many, how many, how many people bought? Almost zero, right? You have to, you have to really get in there to, to drive traffic. That's a form of rejection. Not enough people. You could spend a thousand bucks and sell nothing. Not enough people, right? Not enough people uh, flow with you. They've heard of you, maybe. Maybe the most chances are the reality is that they've never heard of you. And, and if they did, not enough to make them say, you know what, I'm going to pull out my wallet here and I'm going to buy this painting online. Not enough for that. Or much less, I'm going to pull out my wallet and instead of going to that Instead of going to, to, I don't know, to Disney with my family, I'm going to buy this $5,000 painting, right? Or whatever, right? So the only way you're going to experience rejection is if you're doing, if you're doing. It's not an sporadic event. It's not something that just happens every now and then. If it does, please know, bear in your mind. If you're not experiencing rejection, it's because you ain't doing ish. You're not doing anything. You're just posting a painting here, showing someone on Instagram a little painting. There is not rejection. There is not. There, that will not yield rejection. That's just, you know, maybe some comments. People are like, oh, well, you know, I don't like it or I like it. But that's not rejection. You're not, you're not, it's, it's, it's not, it's not our doing. It's not a doing. It's just. Again, it's like it's like I'm gonna sell my car. Oh, you are? Yeah. When people say that, I remember uh, before I got into 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 sales because because I, I I went into sales also in, in uh, some jobs that I had. Uh, before I went into that, I was like, I'm gonna sell my car, and I did what everybody else would do, which is go post a sign, like put a sign on the car, and and. Uh, and just put it, I don't know, in a corner or drive around with it. And that's not that's not selling a car. That's having a car. That's putting a car for sale. That's not selling a car. Selling a car would have been like doing that and picking up the phone and talking to everyone and their dog. Everyone that I knew and their dog. And telling them, look, I'm selling my car. Just wanted to let you know how you're doing. If you know anybody, you know. And the people are like, I'm cooking right now. Don't bother me, you know. Call me later. Oh, you know what? I'm at work. I'll call you later. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You start experiencing rejection in the doing. That's when you experience rejection. It's in the doing. I hope I, hope I stress this enough, guys. If things aren't working for you in your art career, it's because you're not doing enough. If, if you're not experiencing rejection, it's because you're not doing enough. It's in the doing. It would have been a whole different gig if I wanted to sell my car. And again, I picked up the phone and called everyone and their and their and their dog, and their dog, to just to tell them that I'm selling my car. Physically tell them that I'm selling my car. How is that different than putting a sign? Because it requires effort. The more effort, the more rejection. It's effort, effort. The effort and rejection go hand in hand. They go together. You you putting a a. a a painting on Instagram or, or posting a painting on, on Facebook is not effort, guys. Everybody does that. You know, fucking monkey can do that. Everyone does that. That That is not effort. 
that's not effort. But but you going and pushing into the market and 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 like really putting force into the market, not not everybody does that. And that's where the rejection is going to start happening. Like it's the pushback. It's the pushback. One of my mentors calls it the 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 resistance, right? It's the resistance. The world, the, the gravity of the world, he calls it. The gravity of the world. People will always push back. Almost always will push back on a, on a new thing, a new idea, a new message. And it doesn't have to be new to be new, if I, if I make any sense. It doesn't have to be like never heard before. It's just, it's just you saying it, right? You could be saying the same thing someone else said, but if you are saying it, it's new. It's new to me. So you could be repeating the same thing, I don't know, that Tony Robbins said or Brendan Bouchard or whatever. But if you say it, it's new to me. If Tony says it, I get it. I know Tony. I know Tony Robbins, right? I personally know, but, but I, I'm a consumer or whatever. I've heard him a thousand times. I watch the Walk on Fire thing. I've seen his specials. I see his YouTube videos. But if you say it, you know, I don't know, some random Jose Trujillo or some Joe Schmo here, whatever, you know, some random citizen of the world says it. I'm going to have pushback because because it's unfamiliar. And and I as a human being, I am I am conditioned to push back on uncomfortable and unfamiliar things. Always. This is what human beings do. We push back on uncomfortable and unfamiliar things. And that's why rejection is experience. When it's unfamiliar and when it's uncomfortable. All right guys, take care. My name is Jose Trujillo. World's greatest, world's greatest living artist. I, have, I can't believe I almost forgot who I am. Dang it. All right, guys, take care. Adios.